Hi and welcome to the channel. Right now I'm at Pemacud Point Lighthouse with my friend Mike and what we're doing is uh, taking a four day road trip up the coast of Maine. We have no set agenda in place, we're just going to stop wherever to uh, take photographs. Now our first stop was at Reed State Park this morning at sunrise. I don't have any video footage of that, I forgot to take out my video camera, but I may include a couple of uh, it shot, it images we took this morning. Like I said, right now we're at Pemaquid Point Lighthouse, and this is one of the most often uh, photographed lighthouses in Maine. And Mike is over there right now uh, photographing something. Let's go check out what he's up to. There's Mike checking out possible <laughs> compositions. <break>. Yeah, <laughs> don't break your neck. There's a lot of interesting patterns in the rocks around here, so that's what he's checking out. Get some like abstract shots. Great arch with all these scales and the rocks and the whole composition down the side. That ought to work. That should work. So I'll use a wide angle. Maybe 25 millimeters. Maybe maybe 18, but maybe 25. Yeah, those patterns in the rock do look interesting. And here is the iconic cliche shot of the Pemaquid lighthouse. You have these rocks as a, used as the leading line. You get the reflection in this puddle of water. And I've seen this shot dozens of times. Port Clyde, Maine. Typical Maine harbor town. Puffin mascot for the harbor, I guess. A little skinny. Legs are a little long too, compared to a real puffin. This is Fort Point Lighthouse. This is the first time I've been here. This is not far from Stockton Springs. Now this is only the fourth, third or fourth stop since we started today because the lighting, we haven't done much photography since sunrise. Well, Mike did a little bit at Pemaquid, but it's because the lighting is really harsh and contra contrasty. So we're going to do some scouting a little later, find some nice spots where when the light's better, we'll go back to them. The mailbox is a replica of the lighthouse. We're at the Penobscot Narrows Observatory Bridge. That's a pretty impressive bridge. What would you call those struts? Or it's pretty impressive. They're huge. What kind of bridge would they call this? Anyway, you can actually go on top of that tower. They have an observatory. I guess you can take an elevator up there. I'm sure they charge a fee. So we made it to Stonington. Mike is taking a picture of the harbor here. It's pretty nice down here. Last time I was here, it was overcast and rainy.
We're still in Stonington. We're still scouting for locations for when the light is better. There's a sailboat going by. It'd be a beautiful night to be on a sailboat. Waters. So we're about an hour away from sunset and we're still in Stonington. Now where we were earlier today in the little village of Stonington and where the boats were was facing east and behind us west is a was a big hill so that would have blocked the sunset but then we we're driving around and we found this harbor that is actually the sun is going to set to the west and once the sun gets close to the horizon it should really light up these boats with some nice golden light so we decided we're going to do our sunset photography right here and hopefully that'll work out we'll see So we're both shooting this harbor scene with 35 millimeter focal length. Seems to be the best focal length for this particular situation. The sun is setting to our west, and it's still it's starting to go behind a hazy cloud, so it's diffusing the light somewhat. What does? The sun is almost ready to go below the horizon. So I'm going to stick around a few minutes after it sets below the horizon to see if the, those clouds pick up any color. And I may take a few more images. So the golden hour has pretty much passed. And like I showed in the previous clip, there's a bank of hazy clouds on the west. And so that really diffused the light so you don't get any more highlights on these boats. So um, like I said before, I'm hoping they're... Uh, once the sun sets below the horizon, there is some color to the sky in those clouds. And there's my camera set up, just waiting for the conditions to get better. We'll see. Give it a few more minutes. These are the lobster holding boxes. The lobster can keep the live lobsters in these boxes floating until they're ready to take them to market. Kind of interesting. There are the little skiffs. They use these skiffs to get out to the main lobster boat. I was going to take a still image of those two boats with the sun setting behind, but I don't like the way the two uh, boats merge together. There's no separation, so it doesn't make for a good photograph. Hopefully by the time the sun time by the time the sun sets, the wind will have shifted the boats and get some separation between them. The sun is almost ready to go below the horizon. And those boats seem to be separating a little bit, so I might be able to get an image out of this after all. Let's give it a few more minutes. So the boats did separate a little bit. Only problem now is that boat on the right, uh, the rocks behind it kind of blend in with the boat. So that bothers me a little bit. And as you can see, as I'm filming this, the breeze is bringing the boats together again. Again, like I said, it would make a more interesting photograph with the boats completely separated. Even though those boats aren't cooperating, I do have to say it's a pretty beautiful sky this evening. There's a little bit of separation there, so I did take a still image. If it's any good, I'll post it after this clip.